Good morning, viewers all over the world. You're welcome to another beautiful episode of the Show the Show is Perspectives. I remain your host, Yinka Kenny is my name. Yes, it's been a, a whole week of so many sagas happening in the polity. But uh, I need to mention this before I go on on the show this morning, uh, though we have been talking about it all through the week. But this morning when I was coming, I saw someone that um, got to the point of uh, uh, coming from Apapa Oul Shoki Expressway. And uh, when he got to the point that he would um, uh, branch off to the third mainland, he was so confused. He saw that uh, the road has been blocked. Obviously, I realized that a lot of people still do not know that um, the federal government had announced the total closure of Third Mainland Bridge from 12 midnight on Friday, the 29th of January, up until 12 midnight on Monday, the 1st of February. So this is to uh, bring to the awareness of everyone out there that uh, for those days, uh, Third Mainland will be closed totally no partial closure and um, the federal government has come out to say that um, this has become necessary so that the date of uh, the, the the completion of the work on third mainland by february will be met so and uh, every nigerian has been advised to please bear with uh, the federal government while this work is going on they say there is no crown without a cross so let us try and carry this uh, uh, cross for the time being. We know that it's just going to last for just a little time. All right. Quickly this morning, I go into the COVID-19 uh, cases in Nigeria and I give you the update. And the update as of last night is um, that uh, Nigeria recorded a to total new cases of um, 1,114 new cases, and which is bringing the total confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Nigeria to 128,000. 674 while 102,780 people have been discharged so far and um, 1,577 people have died of COVID-19 uh, 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 complications and the breakdown is as follows in Lagos, Lagos recorded a t the total cases of 408 people, the federal capital territory recorded 95 cases Plateau recorded 90 cases, Ondo 66, Kaduna 63, or your 56 cases, while Bono came down with 46 cases, Imo 42, Edo State 41, Ogun State 37, River State 31, Ekiti 25, Yobe 20, Kanu 18, Aqua Ibam. 18 Delta and Ocean State came down with 15 cases each. Kuala State 11 cases. Bayesa and Nasarawa State came down also with six cases each. Zamfara came down with four uh, cases, while Bauchi came down with uh, one case. Uh, in Bauchi State. And that is to tell us that uh, we still need to be very, very careful. We still need to take care of ourselves, not for ourselves alone, but for our very loved ones. You need to keep using your uh, nose marks as much as you can and wash your hands as much as you can. And um, talking about COVID-19, uh, that is why uh, some people, they have taken it up to themselves to uh, uh, give free uh, medical uh, attention to some set of people in the society. Now, we find out that in the recent times, a lot of people walk on the street, they collapse. You find people on, on the wheels and uh, you just realize that they have collapsed. And most often than not, we want to say uh, related to COVID-19, we want to uh, uh, relate it to so many things. And that is why the need has arised, that the need, you know, uh, uh, is arising that um, people should continuously try as much as they can to check their 
health status, their medical situation. There are some so many things that we tend to take for granted. Now, we all know that COVID-19, uh, 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 you could get better from COVID-19 if you have a good immune system and if you are lucky not to have any form of underlining illness that is the reason why that is the reason everyone should know the state of is or our medical health and that is why i was at a one a one week long event during the week where uh, uh the sir adedayo adesoye in collaboration with power oil took medical outreach outreach to people in Festac and Amuru or Dauphin. I was there and this is what went down at the event. Stay tuned, don't go anywhere. Watch this. COVID-19 pandemic has taken the front burner of most health-related and even political discourse in recent times. The danger here is that other vital related matters may be relegated to the background and not enough attention. Every case of cough now is silently seen as COVID-related. However, without proper tests, assumption is dangerous in the medical world. With this in mind and the need to give back to the society, Sir Didayo Adesoye, in partnership with Power Oil, decided to put together the first phase of free medical tests for the inhabitants of Festac and Muwadrofi, Lagos. Health is wealth. I want to first of all thank the organizers and the, the partner, Power Oil, who partnered with us who saw the need for people to check their numbers know their health status it was a week-long program which ran from the 25th to the 28th of january 2021 what could compare or we've been on the streets of lagos doing this our basic outreach helping nigerians you know keep up with their health and all most of this oil they call at the sea. Most of this oil you call at the sea because you know they purify. This oil you know they purify. I mean, this kind of oil they contain cholesterol. It's something they call cholesterol. That, that cholesterol, now they make it. It's not that you see woman. So they fat for here. So they fat, they're going to get, they're going to get, uh, heart disease. And you know, like you said, they have to pay them. So all this thing, they cost up. But if you see this oil, if you see this granola, this power oil here, it's purified. This one gets expiring dates. We get production goods. That's why we advise women say if you want to go for the one, let's say food made sweet now, money nine kilo. So invest for that for that soup, so the soup goes sweet, so you don't get any problem for your head. Residents of Amu Ward of young and old came out in numbers to get themselves checked and tested and also to check their vitals. These are things that ordinarily should be checked regularly not necessarily when there is a health challenge i want to also commend the festa community for you know taking up this initiative of calling their neighbors to see what they can do to know their numbers and taking the necessary steps if you need further advice consultation you can always con contact me i will do everything necessary to refer you to special consultants to help you with your health, health status. In addition to that, not only first act, we'll be going to Maltu, we'll be visiting Agbonju Satellite Town, Ijegun Waterside, Adosoba, Oriade, Old Ojo Road, because we believe our greatest asset is you and I. But most Nigerians can't afford these routine checks and only get to know their status when they have the need to visit the hospital. 
I'm looking forward to having so many interactive programs with, with, with us all. Even the youth, I have lots of package for you all uh, in terms of sporting activity because um, the idle mind is the devil's workshop. We will engage the youth to ensure that they are productive with their minds. There will be workshops, training to bring, to develop young entrepreneurs to find something doing early in life. So by the time they, are, they attain the active age, productive age, they would have become good and established entrepreneurs who determine the destiny of a nation. I'm counting on you all to see that these programs, you all take part so that we can all benefit. It's been paid for and sponsored by friends and well-wishers. Let's take goodies of this opportunity. God bless you all, love you all, and we'll get there. <laughs> So the beneficiaries applauded the good gesture of Sir Adedayo Adesoye and the management of Power Oil for making this a reality. My name is Benedicta Okuso, a fashion designer. Um, I want to say first of all a very big thank you to Adesoye for this initiative and also Power Oil for in conjunction with this to make this program a successful one. It's really not easy. But I want to say thank you so much and God bless him so much. It's really a nice thing for someone to come and check his our health status. Because most of us, especially in Nigeria, yeah, we don't really check our health status. We normally wait when it's free program like this before they will come out. But some of us really do check out this thing, our status. So I want to say thank you to him and God bless him. God will continue to provide for him for finding or taking out his time to organize this program. Thank you so much. <laughs> I appreciate uh, uh, what he's doing. The, um, the man called uh, Adesoy, 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 Adesoy. It's good. Uh, it's, it's very nice to have somebody like him because it's very rare to see somebody doing this in this country here. So we appreciate it. By doing so, it will help people, for people to discover the sickness earlier before it gets worse. So I like it. Huh? Let him keep on doing it. <laughs> Yeah. And you don't tell me some things we are going to do. But uh, say my this thing is okay. But uh, they, uh, I brought uh, this thing. And because of the Kiriwa, the Kirina, that's why my this thing go high is small. So you don't teach me what I go do. And what I go chop. Because instead of I go farm money, if I don't get, I don't go feel go, go do am now. But as soon as by the grace of God, I do am for me and this I like am for me. God go bless you now. Yeah, welcome back to the show. You know that here on the show, if it happened, it's happening or it's being talked about. The gist is right here. So if you need to reach us, uh, well, all you need to do is send a number, send a text message to 0810-851-6644. Send a text message to 0810-851-6644. But that is if you live in Festac and it's environs and i'm sure that according to sir adedayo adesoye he is still going to take this medical outreach to several places all over so just be patient 
it will soon get to your domain. Stay tuned and we will give you information as it unfolds. All right, talking about what is happening all over. The Minister of Health, uh, Senator Olorunibe Mamora, he said that Nigerians oh COVID-19. Yes, it's going to come. And we know that a lot of Nigerians, they have been so skeptical about uh, this COVID-19 vaccines that a lot of people are saying all sorts of things. A lot of myth is going on all over about this COVID-19 vaccines. A lot of video, I saw a particular video that uh, someone said that this is a plot, a plot to kill uh, African, someone's African, someone said is a plot to decongest the world. A lot of things are going all over. But uh, the Minister for Health, uh, the Minister of Health, Senator Olorun Nibe Mamura, he said that Nigerians be rest assured that these vaccines, when they reach, when they get to this country, it's going to be under at the highest scrutiny and when they say when i say the highest scrutiny you know it's going to be under the a very very mighty examination so they're going to examine it very well why is it that it's going to go through so much scrutiny it's going to go to, through so much scrutiny because uh, according to the senator the, the the vaccines they have been produced under uh emergency conditions so he's saying please please and please nigerians when the vaccines comes we're going to scrutinize it i have a call this morning hello good morning hello good morning what's your name and where are you calling from My name is i can't hear you please can you make yourself more audible oh, sorry i lost that call please do well to call to call me back so that is it about the, the uh, covid 19 vaccines coming into the country Wow. Now, this is a warning to every one of us. Hello, good morning. All right, you can do well to send me text messages. Please, it seems the lines are acting funny this morning. This is to a warning to everybody on social media. Social media, social media, social media. A lot of things goes on on social media. Positive and negative now so many you know nothing there's nothing that has got its own pros that doesn't have its own cons now some of the disadvantages is what people you know are experiences in the experiencing in the recent past somebody uh is a certain joy or car for she had she has been swindled via facebook now those of you that uh, go want to buy things on facebook okay let me try and pick this call hello good morning 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 please can you speak louder a bit hello i can hear you what's your name and where are you calling from please i can i can i can hardly hear you please all right, do well to call me back. A, a certain joy or car for she went on Facebook and uh, while scrolling on Facebook, she saw a one certain Grace Adebayo. Grace Adebayo disguised as a Nigerian service custom service officer. Hello, good morning. Good morning. Thank you for calling in. What's your name and where are you calling from? Adebay, please speak louder. Oh, sorry. All right, please, please, and please, I think text, me text messages will do well this morning. It seems the phone lines are acting phony. However, uh, I was saying that um, she disguised herself as a Nigerian Customs Service officer. And according uh, to Joy, she saw the post of Grace Adebayo where she was advertising cars that are supposed to be auctioned for at affordable prices. Uh, she decided to put a call through to, uh, uh, to Grace. And Grace uh, told her that she has to pay a total, a total sum of 40,000 Naira to book the vehicles. She told Grace that she intended to buy a Toyota Corolla and a Mercedes Benz. All right, she booked 40,000 Naira with Grace. Grace said to her that she is stationed at Seme border. Well, whether 
Joy des, uh, uh, decided to go to Semi Border or not, well, we were not told in the news. But what we were told is that after that, Joy introduced, uh, Grace introduced Joy to another person, one Mr. Adeni, whom she said was, whom she said is a deputy controller of custom. Joy started interacting with Mr. Adeni and uh, before a long time she started paying, Mr. Adeni told her that she should start paying money in several bits and she started paying money in several bits into several uh, uh, accounts. Unfortunately for her, she paid a total sum of 1.9 million only for cars not to be delivered to her. Now, what is the, the, the strong warning there? She said, according to Joy, she said that uh, the, the, all the, the papers that were given to her for the transactions that were being made, that she saw on those papers the Nigerian Customs logo and the Nigerian coat of arms and that made her believe that okay this transaction is going to be true but unfortunately she was scammed please let's be wary of what who and who we decide to deal with on social media it's not everything you see on social media that is true a lot of people are just out there to scam Nigerians. Let me see if I can pick this last call before I go on to the social media this morning. Hello, good morning. Yeah. Oh. Well, do well to send me text messages. I will read my messages out if I still have the time. All right, you know that I don't leave the show without bringing you what's, hap what's happening on social media. This morning, Festus Keyamu is saying that while it's true that there are criminal issues regarding some etsmen with which we must deal, most Nigerians don't know that their so-called ethnic leaders are deliberately putting an ethnic spine, spine to, do to these issues in order to vent their personal political frustration on the system. Well, that is what um, our Honorable Minister is saying this morning. And I move quickly to what D Dr. Dipmo Awojide is saying. Again, I will tell you for free, actions have consequences. Do whatsoever you like, but be ready for the consequences in the future if that happens. Don't cry or mourn. Deal with the consequences with your chest and that's where i call it a wrap on the show this morning yes you know that the show is perspectives and you meet i'll meet you here every saturday 9 30 a.m connect with me on social media on facebook at yinkakeni world on instagram and twitter at yinkakeni one you can also connect with the program at c perspectives on twitter and at Watch Perspectives on Facebook and Instagram. Till I come your way, same time, same station next week. I remain your host. Yinka Kenny is my name. Stay well, stay safe, and God bless you.